Hello and welcome to this third part of the EMS survival video series. In this part we will talk about detecting interferences and creating cavity within your model. Before you go any further with your model, it is important that you check for interferences. In order for you to do so, click on the assembly name, tools, interference detection and then say calculate. Now in this case, we notice here that we have five interferences. It is important that you solve all of them before you go any further with EMS because any model that has interferences will not be modeled properly and will cause problem when you start meshing and, and when you solve it you will not get the results you were expecting. So it is important that you start with a model that has no interferences. Now to solve these interferences there are two scenarios. Now the first one if parts of your model or your assembly are interfering then you need to change the shapes and the dimensions in order for you to do that. If for example like the case we're seeing here the interferences are with the air box then we need to create cavity because the air box has to include everything and so we create cavity so we, is, we subtract the model from the air box. To create a cavity you have to be in the edit mode of the uh, part. Then insert mold cavity from the SOLIDWORKS tree select all the components that make up your model. Rebuild. Now if you check for interferences again by selecting the assembly name, tools, interference detection, calculate, it, sh the sh it should say there is no interferences, no interferences there. 